Hello everybody, Burnt Oak Guy here, and welcome back to Cloud Punk. Alright, so in the last episode, I know it was a little bit long, and we're going to try to keep them a little bit shorter now. Um, uh, we have to deliver a package to Life Corp. Uh, we had to find some way to get under the roof, but uh, I went around and I picked up everything in this little area here, and now there's this uh, one person to talk to, so we will talk to this individual. Are you Kelson? Um, no, sorry. Please do not be shy. We talked about this in the chat room. We cannot begin until you confirm your identity. <laughs> we agreed on Kelson for you. I am Molly. I'm not Kelson. My name is Rania. Oh, I see. I am sorry, too. Damn it, I cannot take any more of these time wasters. I hate to be made to wait. Even worse when it is in the rain. At least your clothes are kind of waterproof. They're made of... Latex, yes. <laughs> and I suppose that is a small mercy. How do you survive this weather? You're soaked. I'm a delivery driver, so I'm mostly in my hava. Yes, of course. You like your work? I'm still deciding. You? <laughs> it is honest work. I make people happy. Are yes. you... A sex worker? Yes. A dominatrix. Excellent. My mother said one day I would find something I was good at. This is it. <laughs> okay. You have something else to say. Spit it out then. I have nothing else to do, it would seem. I know you are curious. Does it feel bad hurting people? Even if they want it? No, not at all. I am helping them. Uh -huh. You really believe that? I know it. They thank me. With words, and with huge handfuls of money. <laughs> Has it ever gone wrong with a client? No. Seriously? You've never hurt someone more than they wanted? It's all done with augments now. If I crack a whip, it's just for show. Ropes and chains are ornamentals. The augments bind them, hold them down, cause them pain. Interesting. That way, no one is ever hurt worse than they want to be. <clears throat> I guess that's better. It is. Well, Molly, I hope you get another client soon. And get out of the rain. I shall. Business is good. Run along and get yourself dried off. We all wear a uniform to work. Whether we think we do or not, no need for it to be waterlogged. Wow. Okay, well, that's, uh, interesting. So, uh, let's continue on. <laughs> wow. Step right now. To collect. Sign here, please. You'll find the package on the roof through the hotel entry to your right. The access code is B965E. And don't talk to the package. Don't what? You'll see what I mean. It won't shut up. It's going to Avalon Heights. They're expecting you. Interesting. Driver 14FC, this is Control. Uh, just checking that you made that delivery. I'm on it. Checking up on me? No, we're just... Uh, what was that? I don't know, Driver. The city AI acting up again? Relocating a district, maybe? No, this felt like an explosion. Yeah, you're right. I'm getting reports over the wire right now. It, it was an explosion. Control? Was it at the Metro Hub? No, well... It was in that district, but it was in the bay. In the delivery bay? Yes. Control? Did I just... 
unrelated. What? Your delivery was unrelated to the explosion. But I... Authorizing a bonus payment for Driver 14 FC, transferring additional funds now. Why am I being given more money? Control? Um, Driver 14 FC, we are not authorized to discuss previous jobs. Uh, that's in the rules. I thought they were guidelines, not rules. Please complete your outstanding contract at Life Corp Industries. Control out. Control? Control! Camus, are you on calm? What happened? I am nervous. That was a big boom. My windows got shaky. Did we do that? No. We didn't do anything wrong. Okay. Uh, okay, sure. If you all say so. <laughs> Did I deliver a bomb? Mm, it's very possible. Very possible. It's this person walking around this boat. Christy X. Or Christy. Have you seen my little one? She must be here somewhere. Little one? My white snapper! My little mouse! Have you seen her? Right. Um, no. Sorry. Okay, so she lost a mouse. Hello? Remember, we're not supposed to talk to the head. <laughs> We're not supposed to talk to the box. I completely understand. Uh, uh are you an android too, Camus? Fine. You can answer him, Camus. Oh, no. I am an automata. I am a dog. Or a car. I am a dog car. How strange. Hey, fella. You're a box. I am in a box. My name is William. What are you if you're not a box? I told you, I am William. But what are you? I was a sous chef in Little China, but not anymore. I'm moving up in the world. In a way, that makes me sad too. How come? Because I won't be able to talk to little people like you anymore. <laughs> that will be a shame. But it will all be worth it. Avalon Heights. I can't wait. What will you do up there? I don't know yet. It's exciting. Maybe I'll be working as a personal assistant to some pop star. Or maybe even a CEO. Perhaps I'll be an executive at one of those big corps. Hiring and firing. I would love to fire a human one day. Oh, no offense, driver. <laughs> None taken. What's it like being a driver? I love to hear about poor people. Now that I will be rich, <laughs> I might even be an organizer for charity dinners. You oh. won't be invited, of course, but I would talk about you. Thanks. And I've only been a driver for a little while. I was a musician. Perhaps I should be a musician. Of course, I would be too rich and too busy to learn to play, but I might get some augments so that I can perform. Maybe the saxophone. Uh-huh. Rania lost her home, and we were evicted, Box. I mean, William. We had to move to the city. Oh, why? Debt corpse. Oh, yes. They can't be very unpleasant. I have heard. She had to sell my body for money, too. A circumstance with oh, no. which I am familiar. I sold my body also. Well, you see, a chef's android body is worth a lot these days. My body was the only part of me worth anything. Now I'm just a head and a dream. Awesome. Can we open the box to see him? I want to see the head. No, we're not allowed to open the packages. <laughs> we're not supposed to speak to them either. I am sad. You'll get over it. Yes, doggy. Don't worry. One day you'll have a lovely body like mine. What will your new body be like? Oh, I'm sure it will be something good. I traded my old body, my apartment, and all my savings for this place in the spire. 
surely they have the best Android frames there too. Awesome. Okay. And here we go delivering the head. Hello? We have a delivery? His name is William? I'm the supervisor for this shift. Domestic Android Supervisor, Reginald Esquire Buckley Senior. Wow. You're a vacuum cleaner? <laughs> no. I am a refuse disposal officer with cleaning functions. Nice. The senior refuse disposal officer. And this is our new recruit. William, your head will be mounted on a Digitlux cleaning unit 3000. And you will be working on the 3,287th floor of Avalon Heights as the junior apprentice unit. Sorry, William. <laughs> Sorry? For what? I am to be the junior apprentice. Please pass me over to Mr. Buckley. I am keen to get to work. And you do understand that we can no longer be friends, right? I like you and your pet human, but it just wouldn't be the done thing to be seen with you. Oh, I understand. You're I am happy for you. Goodbye, William. That's... That's too much. You're a pet human. <laughs> do you miss William? I do not. Okay. Me neither. Well, <laughs> we took William to his new home. I think we should go and check on ours. We have a home! Is it big? Does it have a garden? Do I have my own room? Sorry, Camus. It's not really a home. It's just a place where we can stay for a while. And it's all I can afford on a Cloudpunk salary. No pool, no butler. I'm not even sure we have running water. Oh, Maybe rough. we can go somewhere nicer if Cloudpunk pays us lots. Camus, life is going to be hard here in Nivalis. You need to prepare yourself for that. Even this place might be too expensive. We can't afford to mess up. Got it? One bad night and we could be evicted. I understand. So, don't get excited about this new place. It's not much. Okay, okay, I understand. I am still excited. Alright, everybody. I hope you enjoyed the episode. Uh, so, next episode, we'll go and we'll check out our, uh, our apartment. Uh, we delivered ahead this episode. That's awesome. We got to check out a few new other things. And um, we upgraded our car. Gave it, um, was it there? some little neon flashing red things. And we gave it an antenna that probably doesn't even work. But whatever. We upgraded our car, too. So, it's all good. Peace, everybody. We'll see you next time.